Let's talk independent t-tests. We've already seen how to do a single sample t-test, which is what you do when you want to compare the mean of your sample to some comparison number. Right? You either, in our example, in this video series, we looked at comparing blood pressure to a benchmark of 90, but you could do any kind of comparison you want, right? Is your mean significantly different from a specific number? Then we looked at a dependent t-test, which is how you can measure whether, or you can indicate whether two different variables are different from each other if both of them came from the same people. So in that case, we looked at the blood pressure example again to see if before the study, people's blood pressure was higher than after the study. And we did that using a dependent or paired samples, as SPSS calls it, t-test. But now let's see if we can do something else. We can look at these data in another way. Because maybe we don't care overall if there's a change from before to after. Because after all, in this study, we have two different groups. We have people who took a control or a placebo uh, treatment and those who took the new drug that we actually think is going to cause an outcome. Okay, so for now, for, for, until now, we've just been lumping those two groups together just to say, okay, on average, did blood pressure go down? But you think that it should only really go down for the new drug, for the new experimental drug, and maybe less so for the control. So how do we do this? Here's a case where we have two separate groups of people, and we want to compare them to one another. Okay, we have people in the control condition and people in the drug treatment condition. And for now, let's just look at their blood pressure at the end of the study. All right, let's go ahead and ignore what their blood pressure was originally. Let's just see if we can figure out whether there was any effect on their blood pressure afterward. Okay, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Analyze, and then Compare Means, and then to the Independent Samples t-test. Again, these are independent samples because one group is independent of the other. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find which our grouping variable is first. What are the conditions or the groups that we're comparing to one another? In this case, it's treatment. Treatment over there. Define groups. I'm pretty sure I have treatment coded as either 0 for control or 1 for the um, treatment. Here it's just listed as new drug versus control, uh, but I'll go ahead and click continue there. We're going to go ahead and use as our dependent variable the blood pressure at the end of the study and go ahead and click OK. All right, so what you can see here are the results where it's now breaking down the means between the control group and the new drug group. We have 22 people in the control group, 28 people in the experimental group. And just by looking at the means, it's pretty clear that the mean is lower for the people with the drug, right? But is it low enough that we say it's a significant difference? Okay, two groups, two different means, time to compare them to one another. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger so you can see everything in one bit. Now, obviously we have more information here than we usually know what to do with. Okay, some of this won't seem super relevant to you at the moment, but let's focus in on this section here. This is the key point to take away. Our T value, our T score is 6.876, which is pretty big, right? Our degrees of freedom in this case are 48 because we have two groups. So our degrees of freedom are here 48 and our significance is very clearly pretty darn low. So we have a very low P value. P is less than 0.001 which means we reject the null hypothesis. There is a difference, it seems, between these two groups. So it would be very unlikely to get these two different means if the null hypothesis was true. So when you see results like this, you might conclude that we have found support for the effect of the experimental drug. Because compared to control conditions, people who had taken the new drug show a very... Uh, a much lower blood pressure, a significantly lower blood pressure compared to the control group. Okay, so that's all that. Now let's go ahead and just for the sake of doing this, do a control versus new group, uh, new drug t-test for blood pressure before the experiment. Right? Logically, there should be no relationship here. So if we go up to analyze, compare means, and let's do independent samples t-test again. 
we'll go ahead and remove the after. We'll add in the before. Click OK. So you wouldn't expect that before you take the drug for there to be a difference between the control group and the new drug group, right? These were randomly selected, randomly assigned to each of these conditions. So their blood pressure coming in, you wouldn't think would be very different. Okay, so the null hypothesis is that there's no effect of uh, group on, or drug on initial blood pressure. And the alternative is that, well, maybe there is some effect. If you just look at the means, you can see they're not very different. If anything, the control group has slightly lower blood pressure than the new drug group. And if you come down here to the T-test, you can see that T is negative 1.435 degrees of freedom as before 48. And the significance here is 0.158. So our P-value for a two-tailed test is 0.158. So we, we don't find a significant difference. There's no significant difference between the control group and the drug group when it comes to their incoming blood pressure, okay? So you can see here how we can find differences uh, depending on what the research questions are and differences in how we conclude from the results uh, in terms of what, what we want to say about the effect of our conditions. Okay, so that's an independent samples t-test comparing two separate groups and their means to one another, and SPSS makes it very simple to either show you that there is a significant difference or that there's not, that you have inconclusive results.